Hi and welcome to what is my first video tutorial on the Soundcraft UI 24R. Um, one of the topics that comes up on our page on a regular basis is the use of view groups and there seems to be a little bit of confusion uh, about that um, and hopefully I can um, through this video do something to demystify how the view groups work. I guess the key thing with um, view groups is the device that you're using and how you can actually save a view um, and then import that view into other devices. So firstly a bit about my setup. Um, I run the UE um, through my router to a old MacBook Pro which um, is connected to an Acer 23 inch touchscreen um, at my front of house position. I also use an iPad mini um, which we use on stage just during setup and um, sort of basic sound check um, but once we do the proper sound check and the show um, we just use the MacBook Pro and um, I use the iPad mini primarily to um, play my background music in the breaks. Um, I don't have any of my clients um, using um, their own devices for their own monitoring adjustments through more me. Um, personally, and this is just a personal view and I stress that, that uh, I find it um, distracting when um, musicians are uh, disengaging from their, their clients and customers and um, crowd by playing with um, playing with the device. So I try and establish a fairly good relationship with all of my customers and uh, gather some trust with them and um, they leave everything to me to adjust for them. Um, but you may differ from that, but that's how I operate. All right, so here's my UE. It's been reset through the initialization show and snapshot. Um, nothing on the channel tabs, no view groups, no mute groups, nothing. So first of all, I'll go to a show and I'll select Jackdaw, Jackdaw and Sujuna, um, and I'll load that. So we go back to the basic setup. Um, this is the home screen. Uh, we'll see now we've got uh, identities on the channel strips. Um, we've got some fader positions, but um, we won't take any notice of that for this uh, example. Now, what I'm going to do now is load the view group, also the local settings that I would employ on my MacBook Pro. So if we go up to settings and select local, go here to local setting presets, you can see I've got a whole heap of pro presets here for every one of my clients. Basically for all of my clients I have a show and snapshot set of files and I keep a MacBook Pro preset file and an iPad preset file. So if I scroll through here now and go to Jackdaw, that's the file for the MacBook Pro. Load that, reload the GUI and there we have it. So essentially um, for my um, MacBook Pro, that's generally the, the screen that I come up with. Um, you'll see we've still got the mute groups as before. It's in Big D mode. I have an input screen and I have my mix screen. So generally, um, for the customers that I work with the most, I just operate off my mix screen. So it's this one here. I have my uh, USB play faders here, all of my effects, um, four VCAs, which are for my vocals, drums, backline, and I double track uh, the main vocalist in two or three of my bands that I work with. And I have a split on my snare drum um, input. Um, so the snare drum here, for example, is just kind of my normal um, setting, normal EQ with a little bit of um, reverb. Um, but this one here, I don't put on a um, view group. I mute this and in and out as required. It has a, um, as you can see here, a, a sort of a very middly um, top end and quite a bit of um, reverb and the occasional bit of uh, cathedral. Um, for certain songs that uh, Jackdaw does 
and um, rim when, I, when they're using rim shots on the snare. All right, so that's the way I generally operate. However, on my iPad, um, I don't operate this way. I don't use Big D on my iPad Mini. So essentially, um, with all of my clients, um, as I've said, I have uh, Snow and Shap Snapshot files, um, MacBook Pro presets, and iPad presets. So although this isn't a um, iPad, I'll go back to my local settings uh, and simulate um, how I would import a um, iPad setting. So just waiting for the uh, GUI to reload. Um, and here we go again. It's um, the same setup basically without Big D. Everything else is identical. Um, like I said before, I operate the iPad generally for my background music, but in some venues I just can't get a front of house position, so I'll sit in the crowd and use this view group um, setup uh, to do the whole show. I only sort of do that with customers that I know really well, um, but there's some venues here I just can't do a front of house position, so hence this is it. So um, what I will probably do now is just show you how to um, um, set view groups up. Um, but again, you'll see in my local settings, um, for all of my clients, I've got a MacBook and an iPad um, preset. Hold my beer, MacBook, hold my beer, iPad, Hooligans, that would be the MacBook, uh, Hooligans, iPad, Jackdaw, iPad, Jackport, Jackdaw, iPad, um, Lazy Eye, MacBook, iPad, and so on. So um, it's a good feature to have. Um, and again, if you had several people using iPads, you could import that preset to all of the iPads or all of the um, MacBooks if that was um, the way you operate. Okay, so I've just um, reset the, um, or reinitialized the UI. And I've quickly set up a show with just four inputs um, down here. I'll just set up some view groups. So one will be one and four. Give that a name, uh, Bob. View group, sorry, view group two will be um, Ted. Just make my display with the bigger slide out. Um, hit the home button, there's the normal view, um, there's the Bob view and the Ted view. Okay. Um, if I go home again, you'll also see I've got a video um, mute group. Um, next thing I'll do is um, make it into Big D mode, um, so that'll reload the GUI, and uh, it comes up in Big D, um, again my uh, mute buttons are there, and my views. Okay, what I can do now is I'll hit home to save that setting, so I could save this now and use it across multiple um, devices. I'll go local settings, local setting presets, I will go save and I'll go um, video test Mac book We'll just check that it's there. Video test MacBook. Okay. So if I wanted to use this on the uh, iPad, same show, same snapshot, I simply, um, in my setup, I would take uh, Big D off. Wait for the GUI to reload. Uh, Big D is gone. Um, I still have my view groups. 
as before I've still got my mute groups um, and now I can go to local settings local settings presets video test MacBook I will um, save that under the new name of iPad okay so this is my iPad view I want to go to my MacBook view local settings local settings presets and there you have it um, it's fairly simple again if I had multiple MacBooks or multiple iPad users you can in insert those uh, views um, across all of those devices depending on which one you want but I guess in an essence the um, the thing that sort of stands out is that this little message here says it all warning only the visual graphics settings specific to this device will be stored these settings do not affect the operation of the mixer so it's just a visual capture of the data so thanks for watching um, if you like it, let me know. We might do some others.